Hey, uh, how are you here, Feather? Looks like we have somebody. Yeah. Yes. Well, uh, it's not my fault. Oh, I'm going to have to pull you out quick because somebody's arrived. So you're going to have to let me grab at least one of your legs. Yeah. The reason I have to do this is if I try and push her head down, she'll resist and fight against it. Whereas if I grab a hind leg, I pull her right out. Mind you, I get mud on my sweater thanks to that. You're an Aegis! Red legs! You're an Aegis! Thanks! So that was quick and efficient. How are you? Everybody else is fine. There's a bale of hay over there! Go get the bale of hay! I better go see who's cold. what I just spotted. You're not fine. Thank goodness I looked around. You're well, and I don't have my gloves on. I'm gloveless. So I'm going to do something that looks awful. I'm going to kick that out. Okay, let's see. Uh, you managed to pull your way. You've taken half the bush with you. Look at that. She's carrying brambles. I'll have to come out with my gloves and de-bramble her later. But I better go see who's arrived up that the dogs were barking at. I think it's somebody they know because they've stopped barking. I now have a glove, but I'm not sure I'll be able to catch little miss here with all her friends. Whoop, one. hanging off your side. Oh, I missed. Yay, 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 yay. No. You're bold. I'm not trying to hurt her. She's got... Whereas you guys don't. I might have to wait till feeding tonight to get the last of the brambles. Whoop, she shook some off. Oh, that one came off, fell off. So I might have loosened some of them by grabbing the one, but she's definitely covered in brambles. She wouldn't let me get on the side of her where the brambles are. <laughs> Look at you. You're very ratty. Look at all your bits. I'd say she got stuck in the brambles as well. And her wool is tufting out where the uh, brambles caught her. That's one of the just released hoggets. And there's the other one. They are three months older than my lot, which is why they're that much bigger. Smart Plus take their time growing, don't you? So these girls will grow a lot more over this coming year. Look at the, oh look, you have brambles in you too. You behave. Yeah, you. There's quite a bitter wind at the moment. This very cold, bitter wind. So coming down here gets them all out of the wind. Isn't that right, Aggie? Ancient Aggie. Great white yoke is hoping I'm going to open the gate to go up to the orchard.
good old pap. Let's see if I can make it. No, she's not going to let me that lamb or hog it now because they're yearlings. Ha! Which way is she going to go? That way. Let's see if I can. Oh, hello back there. her into the corner with my knees. Mm. I can then catch the brambles. Ah! Well, I've got some of them off. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to be able to do at the moment, but I got most of them off. She's mostly clear of brambles now. Whew. There we are. Job done in a few minutes. Maybe I'll let them up the orchard lane. I've got to close the top gate because I'm saving the orchard for when the yews all have their lambs. It's lovely, protective, fresh grass. Here they're eating the walls because there's lovely moss and ferns on the walls. The great white yoke has led them all over here saying, are you going to let us up the laneway? Okay, I'm going to let you up the orchard laneway. It's beautifully protective for the winds that are bitter and cold. Okay, just closed the top gate, so they're just gonna have the laneway. And with the walls on either side, it's lovely and cozy. Hey, 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 Inca, leave it. Leave it. Now, you guys gonna go up the laneway? Hey, hey, hey. Look at who's leading the way, the yo that knows. There we go. Okay, enough. Enough. Come on, Inca, Maya. girls now they've got the walls on both sides so they'll be lovely and protective now uh, from these bitter winds 